Do you know what's about? What the story is of that place? No, I don't. You know? Do you, have you ever heard the the symphony? I have, but I don't. Okay. I don't know what this is about. You know, there is a story in the th in the symphony. Schumann himself wrote in letters what he uh, was composing. Mm -hmm. For example, the first movement um, he wrote is uh, it was a trip, a boat trip on the Rhine. Mm -hmm. This is where the name comes from. He um, lived at the time in in Düsseldorf and the Rhine. Right. And uh, yeah, the first one is this dum bam bam ba dum bim bam. It's a funny trip on, on a boat right. along the Rhine. And this one is actually a, a Sunday morning mass in Cologne Cathedral. Oh, okay. I have heard that actually. Yeah. But and so what we need to hear is there a, a very, very huge procession in a large 1,000 year old cathedral with hardly no light in it, a very loomy and spooky atmosphere, mm -hmm. and minimum uh, a bishop, or I think at the time was already a cardinal maybe, uh, with about two dozens of assistants walking in there with the long old-fashioned Catholic clothes. Mm -hmm. You cannot see the feet, it looks as if they are, uh, yeah, a little bit like ghosts. And what is it? Oh. I'm lacking a word in English, the, the incense. The incense, yeah. incense, you have so much incense that you hardly can uh, make difference between colors. And uh, can you just play once again? Sure. I play the, the, th the third trombone, mm, if anything comes out. I think what sometimes one forgets if you play only the, the melody part mm -hmm. is that in the bass is a real walking kind of thing. And I think this is what makes clear that it's the procession what is meant. Okay. In my personal um, imagination, it's always the third trombone playing the procession okay. and the walking. And actually, it's r a perfect <laughs> a procession right. tempo, yeah. like on a funeral. Mm -hmm. And you are the incense. Okay. So you're okay, cool. totally bodiless and flying over the whole thing. All and right. so make as lot of this yeah, phrasing as you can. I think um, what I personally do, do not like so much if we have this kind of slur in between. Okay. I think no other instrument would dare to do something like that. Okay. Can you imagine a bassoon player play some kind of that legato? Right. I think they would kick him out. <laughs> and as we are the only ones who are able to do that, uh, people might think, what the hell is the trombone player doing? Exactly. And so just do not do it. Okay. I think you will earn a lot of sympathy among our fellow musicians that do <laughs> not play trombone. <laughs> yeah, and okay, there we have the stupid high E sharp. Right. Just play it and afterwards everything's fine. I think it's not a problem for you. Okay. But it could be more of this, this melodic phrase okay. for me. And um, in some versions there is even an accent on this last um, okay. E flat. Maybe you heard, I think I played it much, much more uh, with much more accent yeah. and attack okay. than you did. This is my personal imagination in uh, the Cologne. Actually he wrote himself that he thought about Cologne. Mm -hmm. And in Cologne is the, uh, as far as I'm informed, the biggest 
hanging bell in the world that is still working. Cool. And I think it's about that. It's okay. supposed to be a big bell. Okay. Otherwise, I would also do not know why there should, after this choral kind thing, right. funeral, whatever thing, whatever you like, why there should be suddenly this forte thing. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make sense. Right. So we have to invent something that will convince the audience why there is suddenly a forte. Okay. And if we only play a, an unemotional forte because it's written there, it will not convince anyone, I think. Okay. Could you once play it sure. again for me? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Just one comment. Sure. I could imagine that sometimes in the, the whatever note it is, the last note of your phrase, you could do a little more um, acoustic. Okay. Uh, I hear now sometimes. <laughs> so that you prepare your own breathing okay. and more hide it than otherwise we have again a very um, yeah it sounds a little bit unemotional more sung okay Nice. And maybe you could do the um, the transition <laughs> to the, the this bell thing. I think you have the breathing now before the. Okay. Eight. No, I mean that's just. I think that's. Okay, just I know it actually it. like. Because there will then be, the forte. Right. Okay. Separation there. It, it might sound, if one plays it alone and sees it like that, that might sound strange or feel strange to breath behind the, the eight notes. Mm -hmm. But I think this is actually how we always did it in the orchestra. Okay. For me, this is much more beautiful. Yeah, I agree. And now we have some kind of singing there that will be, cannot be mixed up with the style mm -hmm. that we need later on in the, in the ride. 